Welcome to TRS Live. I'm your host, Kyle Carpenter. Today we're talking about top five largemouth baits for fishing in the fall. One of the top five baits I like in the fall for largemouth is a football jig. A football jig is very versatile. You can fish it through grass, you can fish it in rocks, sand, any transition. You can swim it if you need to, if the fish tell you they want it swimmed. A couple of them that I like, I like to stick around that three eighths to three quarter ounce in the fall. I don't like to get super heavy. I don't like to stroke a jig in the fall either, so I like a little lighter jig. These are two great options that we have at therealshot.com. It's the tour grade finesse football from Strike King and the finesse football from Dirty Jigs Tackle. These two baits, one in a natural color, one in a black and blue, you always wanna keep a black and blue jig. The number one jig in the country is black and blue for a reason, because it works everywhere. The black and blue jig, like I said, it imitates anything you want it to. You can fish it clear water, dirty water, in rivers, current, anywhere you want to fish it. A black and blue jig is very versatile. And then always have a natural color. Natural colors, that one two punch of a black and blue and a natural color is always a great option. As far as a trailer for a jig in the fall, I like to use a beaver style bait. Here I have the Reaction Innovation Sweet Beaver. This bait is very, very finesse on a jig. It doesn't have a whole lot of movement. It gives it some bulk, it slows the fall down, it gives it a bigger presentation. Always a great option when you wanna slow your jig down and fish it super slow. In the fall when the water's cold, grass is dying, you know, turnover's happening. You want to keep your jig very, very subtle movements. You don't want it a lot of action in it. Another great option for a jig trailer is the Spicy Beaver. Again, it gives it that wider, bulky profile with a little bit of movement on the claws, on the tentacles. You're gonna have a little more water movement with the Spicy Beaver, so if you do wanna swim that jig, it gives it a little more action. Football jigs are always a great option in the fall. They're very versatile. You can fish them shallow, you can fish them deep. Next time you're out in the fall and you're targeting some largemouth bass, make sure you have a football jig tied on. Another great option, another option I really like in the fall is a square bill. Square bills are very, very versatile in any kind of scenario you're in, from a river to a lake. You can fish them deep, you can fish them shallow. I got a 1.5, I always have a 1.5 tied on. This is a striking KVD 1.5, probably one of the most popular square bills on the market. I like to have a mixture of bold colors, as you can see here, and natural colors. Sexy Shad is probably the most versatile color you can have. If you only had to throw one color, Sexy Shad would be that. You can fish these things, like I said, rock, sand, mud, anywhere you want. You can rip it through dying grass. You can do a lot of things with a square bill in the fall. Rip rat banks, anywhere you want to throw it, anywhere you want a reaction bite, definitely have a, a square bill tied on. Line options with a square bill, anywhere from 10 pound up to 17 pound is what I prefer. I really like 12 pound. Seaguar makes this Basics line this year. It is very, very budget friendly, very versatile line. It's got a little more stretch than your traditional fluorocarbon like a, a Invisex, but it's very durable, very abrasive resistant. Check out the Basics today. Check out some KVD 1.5s, 2.5s, and other great deals at therealshot.com. The third thing I always have tied on in the fall when I'm fishing for largemouth is a black buzz bait. Black, white two colors you need. I prefer black. Black is always my go-to with a buzz bait and pretty much all top waters. Buzz baits are great for the fall. You can fish them fast. You can cover a lot of water. You can fish them in lakes, rivers, around docks, around any kind of structure there is in the lake, lay downs, anywhere you want to throw it, anywhere you think there's a fish, dying weed lines, shallow weed lines, inside weed lines. Very, very versatile. I always throw a a buzz bait on braid on a big rod, 7.6 to a 7.11 rod. I want to be able to move that bait when a fish hits it. I want to be able to pick up that slack line with the braided line and let that fish have it when one bites this, this buzz bait in the fall because the bites are aggressive. Anytime you're throwing a buzz bait in the fall, that them fish are feeding. They're not just coming to look at it, they are actually feeding. And man, the bites can be really, really awesome and a ton of fun in the fall always have a black buzz bait on when you're fishing for largemouth in the fall. All right, number four thing you're always gonna find tied on from me personally on the front deck of my boat in the fall fishing for largemouth, chatterbait. 
spinner bait. Something moving, something that I can fish fast, subsurface, that I can cover a lot of water with, that I can fish through grass, I can fish around cover. Probably, arguably the best, most versatile bait in the bass fishing industry right now is the chatterbait. These are the jackhammer chatterbaits by Evergreen. White, you can never go wrong with a white, a natural white. Any river, any dark colored water, you gotta have white with you. Another color that's super, super popular all around the country is the fire craw. Again, something, it is pretty natural. It's really popular down south. Two colors I'm always gonna have on for a chatterbait is a white and a fire craw. Spinner baits, probably one of the most overlooked baits. I know I overlook it a ton because I'm always throwing chatterbait. Spinnerbait is very versatile. You can fish it subsurface. Like I said before, you can fish this thing any depth, fast, slow. You can put a trailer on it. You do not have to put a trailer on it. Cold water, warm water, windy, sunny days, the spinnerbait produces time and time again. It's one thing that I tend to overlook all summer. When it comes to fall, it's in my boat, it's tied on, and I'm using it. As far as trailers, on a chatterbait, I really like a Zocco. This is a Gary Yamamoto Zocco. It has got a, a fork tail to it, does not have a paddle tail. It's kind of a do nothing trailer. It, it's just kind of there. It's a profile more than anything. The Zocco from Yamamoto on the back of a chatterbait is a great option. Another option for a chatterbait or a spinnerbait is a swim bait. Here we have a 3.3 Kitek. Again, natural colors, bright colors. This is Green Pumpkin Fire, which is a new color you can see at therealshot.com from Kitek. This is gonna be a cover your natural colors on a chatterbait or a spinnerbait. Great trailer, always have one on when you're throwing a chatterbait or a spinnerbait in the fall for largemouth. The fifth thing you're gonna always find tied on the front deck of my boat is a finesse style bait of some sort of Texas rig, be it a finesse worm or a beaver. From a quarter ounce to a half ounce weight, unpegged with a finesse lighter hook. Something that you can fish around cover, something you, you can drag if you need to, you can fish it around docks, you can fish it in rocks. Something that is not gonna be super aggressive. You're not looking for that big reaction type bite like you do in the summer with a big heavy weight and a big bulky piece of plastic. Something finesse, finesse worms are always a great option. Here I have the Strike King cutter and also a Reaction Innovations beaver. Both of these baits will cover anything you want to do with the finesse style bait. Some awesome tungsten available at therealshot.com. And also, like I said, a light wire hook, something a little finessey and always unpeg. I never peg any of my baits in the fall. I want that to be more natural dragging on the bottom. So when that fish picks up that bait, it's weightless. It does not feel that weight. Fifth bait you're always gonna have tied on in the fall should be a finesse Texas rig of some sort. Them are my top five largemouth baits presentations that I'm always gonna have on when I'm fishing in the fall. Water's cooling down or cold, turnover's happening, weeds are dying, there could be ice, breaking ice at some points, you know, to begin your day. So a lot of times you gotta slow, slow, slow down. The biggest thing when fishing in the fall is you wanna fish very slow and methodical. No matter what you're using, you can fish a chatterbait slow and finesse. You can fish a spinnerbait slow and finesse style. A Texas rig, always fishing that thing slow. That even the buzzbait, you downsize your buzz, buzz bait when in the fall. You, it does not have to be the big half ounce. Don't be afraid to throw that quarter ounce buzzbait in the fall. I like black. You have my top five, all available at therealshot.com. Fishing in the fall for largemouth can be a lot of fun. It can be very frustrating but it's very, very rewarding when you find them fish schooled up. Everything that you saw today, you can check out at therealshot.com. Thank you.